Thank you so much for tuning in to our 21 day devotional. I am so excited to be with you guys here today. My name is Pastor Robert. I'm the associate pastor here at the Way World Outreach. Thank you so much for tuning in. I get a privilege today and talking about the given part of our devotions. My title is today, Spirit Led Given. Before I talk about Spirit Led Given, for a moment, let's just talk about being Spirit Led. Being Spirit Led in all of our areas in our lives is so important, not just to give an aspect. We need the Spirit of God to lead us in our marriage, with our children, with our finances, which we'll talk about later. Maybe a business, maybe you're a business owner, being Spirit Led in your business. There's a great scripture in Galatians 5.25, and it reads like this. Since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. So it's not only in the given aspect, but allowing the Holy Spirit to lead in every area in our life. I love this statement. If you got a pen handy or maybe you got your phone there or a tablet, write this down. When we are led by the Spirit, we release mega blessings and favor over our lives. I'm going to say that again. When we are led by the Spirit, we release mega blessings and favor over our lives. The opposite would be this. If we're not led by the Spirit, if we're led by our sinful nature, we have destruction and misery waiting. You know, in every area in our life, we could think, or maybe a time in your life, you could think, man, I wasn't led by the Spirit in that area and where it led us. Maybe it was in a relationship. Maybe you're with a a person for a while and you thought the Spirit was leading you this way, but then you started getting your emotions involved and all of a sudden you're making decisions without the Spirit leading you. Man, I've been there so many times in my life. And the definition of leading in this scripture means this, guiding and directing. So again, we need the Spirit to guide and direct every part of our lives because when the Spirit is leading, He'll lead us into the truth. He'll lead us in the righteousness. He'll lead us in the blessings. Now, talking about spirit-led giving, let's discuss that for a while. What is spirit-led giving? I want you to write this down. Number one, spirit-led giving is the next level after tithing. So spirit-led giving is the next level after tithing. I want you to write this down. There are two parts to giving. There's the tithe. And then there's a spirit-led offering. So really, there's only really two parts to giving. There's a tithe, which is 10% of our income or 10% of any increase that we receive. Then what you call a spirit-led offering. That's anything after the tithe. But these two parts, the tithing and spirit-led giving, these two parts work together to release God's blessing over our lives. Again, these two parts, the tithe, and the spirit led given, they lead to blessings over our lives. Look at the scripture, Malachi 3, 8, um, all the way to verse 10. Should people cheat God? Yet you have cheated me. But you ask, what do you mean? When did we ever cheat you? You have cheated me of the tithes and the offerings. So again, the scripture, it shows the two part, the tithe, 10%, and then the spirit led offering. It says, do to me, you are under curse for your whole nation has been cheating me. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse. So there will be enough food in my temple. If you do, says the Lord of heaven's armies, I will open up the windows of heaven for you. I will pour out a blessing so great, you won't have enough room to take it in. So again, spirit-led giving leads to blessings over our lives. Here's number two. I love this point. Spirit-led giving is love in action. Man, I love that. Spirit-led giving is love in action. Love, just like faith, is dead without action or giving. I love that. Love, just like faith, is dead without love and action. I remember when we first started the church, me and Pastor Marco, and we asked God, God, we want your spirit to lead us. We want your spirit to lead the church. How should we start the church And the Spirit of God gave Pastor Marco specific instructions, very detailed. He says, I want you guys to do. I want you guys to pick a neighborhood. I want you to go door by door and meet people's needs. I remember when he shared that with me, I I didn't quite get that. I said, man, we're going to go door to door and meet people's needs. How are we going to do that? And the Spirit began to lead Pastor Marco and we made a a survey sheet and we asked people what their name was, how many kids in the house. And then on that survey sheet, the punchline was this. We asked them, 
what is your greatest need and how can we fulfill that? So I remember one of the first doors we knocked on, we asked this woman, that a uh, mom, we asked her, what is your greatest need? And she took us into her home and she took us into her kitchen area. And I remember seeing like a, a cooler and she said, well, my greatest need right now, I need a refrigerator for my family. Now this is love in action. This is being spirit led. So me and Pastor Marco were there and we told her, well, you need a refrigerator. Said, yeah, I got kids and I'm living out of this icebox. So me and Pastor Marco, after leaving at home, we, 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 we talked to her. We said, okay, we talked to each other. What are we going to do? They said, well, we have to go get a refrigerator. We were spirit led. This is love in action. So we had to go to the nearest store. And I remember going to the store, buying a refrigerator and bringing it back to her home. Man, we brought this refrigerator back to this lady's house. She began to cry. Why did she cry? She was seeing God. She was seeing love in action. Every time we're spirit led in our given or in any area in our life, this is where God shows up. And when we gave her the refrigerator, the greatest thing of all happened. She gave her life to Jesus. So being spirit led, even our given, in our time, in our talents, it can even lead to salvation. See, given is a proof that God lives in us. Again, given is a proof that God's love is living in us. First John three seventeen through 19. But whoever has this world's goods and sees his brother in need and shuts up his heart from him, how does the love of God abide in him? My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And by this, we know that we are of the truth. When we show love, when we are spirit led in our giving, you know, spirit led giving could be just that, where you're giving towards someone. God tells you, bless that person. You ever had that happen before? Maybe God's done that recently. Maybe you're sleeping, maybe you're going through your day and all of a sudden a name or a face pops up in your head and the Lord tells you, he's told me that, bless them, take care of them. That's spirit led. Maybe you're at a church service and maybe, you know, you've given your tithe already. Remember, spirit led given is after the tithe. Any offering that's given after the tithe is spirit led. Maybe Pastor Marco um, or your church, you know, we're talking about uh, maybe a project maybe putting a playground for the kids or buying a bus. And God begins to lead you and impress upon your heart to give something. And there's no greater reward than to give to people, than to give of what God is doing in our city, in our church. So spirit-led giving is love and action. Here's number three. Spirit-led giving will always lead to the blessed life. Spirit-led giving will always lead to the blessed life. Galatians 6, 8. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. That word life in this scripture means Zoe, the absolute fullness in life. Are you looking for the absolute fullness in life? This is one of the principles we, we live by. Spirit led given. Fullness of life we begin to experience. It means the blessed life. It means the God kind of life. So in review, spirit-led giving, number one, spirit-led giving is the next level after tithing. Number two, spirit-led giving is love in action. And number three, spirit-led giving will always lead to the blessed life. Why well, I love you guys. I'm so happy to be with you in your homes, in your car, maybe right now at work. Let's practice being led by the Spirit. And I pray that God's Spirit will lead you in every area of your life. And how do we have God lead us? Just ask Him, Lord, would you lead my family? Lord, will you lead my marriage, my kids? Lord, would you lead my business? Lord, would you lead in the area of finances? Why, well, I love you guys. Let's practice Spirit-led giving and watch what God is gonna do in your life. God bless you. We'll see you again.